I call this meeting of the Conroe Independent School District Board of Trustees to order. Let a record show that a quorum of members is present, that the meeting has been duly called, and that notice of this meeting has been posted in accordance with the Texas Open Meetings Act, Texas Government Code Chapter 551. It is 6 o'clock. If you would, please stand with me as Mrs. Bush leads us in the invocation and Mr. Hubert in the pledge. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the ability to join together tonight and to do the work of Conroe Independent School District. I pray that our words will match what you want them to be and that you will guide our decisions to uh, benefit all of our students, faculty, and uh, all of our parents and taxpayers. Lord, I uh, pray for each of us as we make these decisions that you will guide our thoughts and our questions. And Lord, I thank you that you protected our students over this holiday and thank you for everything that we're going to do tonight in your son's name. Amen. 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 Please join me. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On the honor of the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. <coughs> Thank you very much, Bush, Mr. Hubert. Yes, sir. Uh, item 2A, Special District Recognition 2016 UIL Class 6A Girls 100-Yard Freestyle State Champion, Dr. Stock. I'd like to introduce Dr. Mark Merrill, Principal of the Woodlands College Park High School, to introduce our first recipient. Thank you. Good evening. Dr. Stockton, President Husbands, members of the Board of Trustees. It is my honor and privilege to be here tonight to help recognize some outstanding student athletes from College Park High School. For introductions, I would like to uh, welcome our head swim coach, uh, Rachel Baines, to the podium, please. Hello, uh, my first young lady I'd like to introduce is a sophomore at College Park High School. She's a two-time state finalist, and this year she earned All-American times in her 100-200 freestyle and also got our school record. And she's the current state runner-up in the 200 free and the state champion in the 100 freestyle, Monica Gumina. And uh, item 2B, Dr. Stock. 2B, I'm going to ask uh, Dr. Merle to continue. <laughs> Coach Baines, continue. <laughs> All right, my second young lady is a junior at College Park High School. She's a three-time state finalist. She's our current school record holder on the 100, free, or 100 breaststroke, and she got All-American qualifying times this year, and she's the current state champion in the 100 breaststroke, Victoria Hunt. Wow. Everything to say? Well, um, oh, but prior to this, let me introduce Mr. Colshan to introduce our next recipient. Dr. Stockton, Mr. Husbands, members of the board, thank you for the opportunity to be here to recognize some very special student athletes. We also want to thank you for the opportunities that you provide our students to participate extracurricularly. It is such an important part of the high school educational experience, so thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce our head swim coach, Kent Kirchner, who will offer a few words. <laughs> <laughs> Thank 
Thank you very much. It's truly an honor to be here again this year. And uh, Lucy got so excited. She was so excited last year. She said, well, I'm going to do it again this year and get honored again. <laughs> so anyway, Lucy set our school record in the 50 freestyle and the uh, 100 backstroke uh, this season and was won two state championship titles with that. Our girls finished second. She's also an Olympic trial qualifier. And right now in the 200 meter backstroke, she's ranked 20th in the world right now. Wow. And uh, that's an outstanding achievement. I would like to introduce Lucy's mother, Dr. Nordman, and also Lucy, come on up here. They, they all know you. Okay? But, uh, I, I just need to say one more thing while she's getting her picture taken. She, Lucy is a true hardcore racer. That's all I can tell you. And hopefully we'll be here again this year, next year. Thank you. Uh, ladies, on behalf of Dr. Stockton and the Board of Trustees, I want to say it's just such a privilege to see such fine student athletes. You guys really, really don't know how much you represent our district in such a great way. So we just like to say thank you. Continue to do all the great things that you're doing. And um, phenomenal, phenom phenomenal ladies you guys are. And I, I think you guys have much success coming for you guys in the years to come. So great job, guys. Thank you. I only swim about 12,000 yards a day. Uh, it's impressive. Do we have anybody signed up for this? No, sir. Very good. Okay. Uh, item number three, uh, consent agenda. I have heard no request to remove any items. Are there any such requests tonight? If not, I uh, would entertain a motion. I motion. move we approve the consent agenda as presented. Second. In a second. All those in favor will signify by raising your right hand. All opposed, like sign. Thank you very much. Item 4A, consider approval of guaranteed maximum amendment for, uh, price amendment for high school uh, in Oak Ridge feeder zone. Dr. Stock. Great. We're excited about this. I'll invite Easy Foster to present not only that item, but the next several items. <laughs> President Husbands, members of the board, and Dr. Stockton, it's my pleasure tonight to bring forward for your consideration and approval like the guaranteed maximum price amendment for our new high school in the Oak Ridge Feeder Zone. Uh, if you'll recall, this is phase two. This project is broken up into two phases, phase one being our site clearing and uh, site building pad, phase two being the building itself and all of our other site improvements to build a complete new high school in the Oak Ridge Feeder Zone. If you recall, on April 21st, 2015, uh, our Board of Trustees selected Duratech Inc. to be the district's construction manager at risk for the new high school in the Oak Ridge Feeder Zone. Since then, we've done quite a bit of work. We've taken proposals from the marketplace, uh, and based on Duratech Inc.'s proposal for the Phase Two portion of this project, the district has negotiated a guaranteed maximum price for the Phase Two portion of the work. Our guaranteed maximum price for phase two on the new high school in the Oak Ridge Feeder Zone is $134,395,408. Our contract documents are being prepared by our outside counsel, and at this time we're requesting your approval for this guaranteed maximum price. I have a motion. Motion. Thank you. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion, questions? I have. I just have a question. And Certainly. It, the, the phase two is the construction of the building and all the surrounding site work that's not been done so far is that correct 
Correct. There, and really what I'm getting to is there going to be a phase three? There should not, should not be a be. phase three unless okay. we, the district, decide to change the scope of this work. So okay. this this would be our all-in price for the construction of the new high school in the Oak Ridge feeder zone. Okay. And phase, phase three would be intake of students, hopefully. <laughs> this, phase three. Thank you. Is there, does this include all FF&E and yeah. things like that as well? It, it does not. We're okay. carrying budget I could, separately. I didn't see that. Correctly. That, those are FF and E items are items that are procured through our purchasing department right. through, an, through another source. Okay. They, it right. will be coordinated with our construction, but it happens Correct. from our, our perspective. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions or discussion? Very good. Having a motion and a second. All, all in favor signify by raising your right hand. All opposed, like sign. Right. Passes. Congratulations. Uh, Mr. Foster, if you would continue with item B. This time I bring forward for your consideration and approval the guaranteed <clears throat> maximum price amendment for our new elementary school in the Oak Ridge Feeder Zone, uh, which we call Flex Number 17. In, eight, in August 18th of 2015, our Board of Trustees selected Brookstone Construction Managers to be the district's construction manager at risk for our new elementary school we call Flex 17. Based on Brookstone Construction Manager's proposal for this work, the district has negotiated a guaranteed maximum price for this project, and this guaranteed maximum price is $25,602,398. Again, these uh, contract documents are being prepared by our outside counsel, and we're requesting your approval of the guaranteed maximum price. I have a motion. A uh, motion? I second. second the motion. We have a motion to second. Any discussion or questions? Mr. Foster. Not hearing none, all, of, uh, all in favor signify by raising your right hand. All opposed, like sign. And item C. <clears throat> At this time, I bring forward for your consideration and approval a guaranteed maximum price amendment for our multi campus CTE and robotics renovations. On January 19th, our Board of Trustees selected GTT Inc. as our district's construction manager at risk for the multi campus CTE and robotics renovations project. Based on GTT's proposal for this work, we've negotiated a guaranteed maximum price of $2,249,247 for this project. The contract documents are again being prepared by our outside counsel, and we're requesting your approval of the guaranteed maximum price. Motion to approve. Second. Okay. And we were talking about item D. C. 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 Well. You were you referencing it. We just talked about CE, CTE and robotics as item D, unless I'm looking at the wrong sheet. Uh, item C. No. That's item C. C. Item C. Construction uh, manager. The numbers do match D. I, I apologize. I must have a first. You didn't have that one. Thank you. Okay, item C. I have a motion and a second. All, any uh, discussion or questions? All those in favor, signify by raising your right hand. All opposed, like sign. Excuse me, Mr. Foster, for being on the wrong page, I guess. <laughs> uh, item D, sir. At this time, I'm bringing forward for your approval the selection of a construction manager at risk for Knox mm -hmm. Junior High School and the Woodlands Transportation Center renovations project. And then again, uh, authorize our superintendents to negotiate and execute the contract documents. In November of 2015, our Board of Trustees selected IBI Group as the architect for Knox Junior High School and the Woodlands Transportation Center projects. Since then, the IBI Group has prepared a request for qualifications for construction manager at risk. We have received uh, four companies respond to this request for qualifications. After reviewing each of these companies' qualifications based on our published criteria, all four companies were re requested to participate in step two of our two-step selection process. The four companies were Balfour Beatty Construction, Cadence Machine Construction, Dramala Construction, and Teal Construction. Dramala Construction was found to be the offerer selected who submitted the proposal determined to be the best value for the district. The government code requires that we make the rankings public within seven days of the contract award. We've made these rankings a part of this approval item uh, for you tonight. At this time, we're just requesting your approval of the selection of Jamala as our construction manager at risk for this project. I move we approve as presented. Second. Motion and a second. Any questions or discussion? 
Nope. All those in favor for signify by raising your right hand. All opposed, like sign. Item E, sir. At this time, I'm bringing forward for your selection or your approval the selection of a construction manager at risk for the Woodlands College Park High School's Robotics Additions Project. And again, authorize our superintendent to negotiate and execute the CM at risk agreement. In, in November 2015, the board selected PBK as the architect for the Woodlands College Park High School Robotics Project. And PBK helped us by publishing and, and uh, a request for qualifications for CM at risk contractors. We had four companies respond to this request for qualifications, and after reviewing each of their uh, proposals, all four companies were selected to, uh, three companies were selected to participate in step two of our two-step selection process. The three companies selected were, or invited to step two were Balfour Beatty Construction, Ellisor Constructors, and Teal Construction. Ellisor Construction was found to be the offeror who submitted the proposal determined to be the best value for the district. And like our project before, uh, we've made the rankings, uh, ranking evaluation a part of this approval item for your consideration tonight. So tonight we're asking for your approval of Ellisor Constructors as a CM at risk for the Woodlands College Park High School Robotics Additions Project. I have a motion. I, I move that we approve it as presented. Thank you. I second the motion. The motion is second. Any discussion? I have one quick question on this. Sure. Um, the robotics and the CTE that we talked about in the bond, um, the one that we already approved, the maximum price of the 2.2 and change, that's one component. This is the second component of that, and that's it? Or is there a third that we're waiting on getting a CM? I well, as a standalone CTE and robotics project, this is the, the only, the only, one of two. One of two. We will be doing additional robotics work, but it's in, wrapped up in other major right. capital improvements. Right, yeah. no, but of the, the specific site, the specific line item kind of that we outlined in the bond, this is the secondary part of that. Yes, ma'am. Okay, then I'm good. Mm -hmm. Have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? No questions? Sir. All those in favor, signify by, by raising your right hand. All opposed, like sign. Thank very much. Item X. At this time, I bring forward for your uh, your consideration the selection of a construction manager at risk for our district-wide safety and security upgrades project. And again, authorize our superintendent to negotiate and execute the CMA risk contract. In November, uh, just like before, P our board of directors uh, selected PBK Architects as the architect for our district-wide safety and security improvements project. Since then, we did publish the CM at risk uh, uh, request for qualifications, uh, as we've done for our, our, all of our selections before. Uh, we had one company respond to this uh, request for qualifications. After reviewing the qualifications based on our selection criteria, we did invite the one proposer, Ellisor Constructors, to participate in step two of this two-step procurement process. Ellisor Constructors did submit a proposal that was analyzed against other proposals and uh, from other procurements we found in the district. The initial proposed fee is found to be reasonable when compared to two fees on other projects and does provide a good value to the district. Like before, we would need to make the rankings public, but since we had one offerer, there is no ranking to go with this approval item. So at this time, we're requesting your approval of Ellisor Constructors as our CM at risk for our district-wide safety and security upgrades project. Motion that we approve as presented. I second the motion. The motion is second. Any discussion or questions? <clears throat> Hearing none, all those in favor signify by raising your right hand. All the Opposed, like sign. Item G. Both. All right, at this time I'd like to bring you up to speed on our other capital improvements that are, that are currently underway within the district. And as uh, as we found out tonight, very soon this list is becoming longer and longer as we as we progress throughout the throughout the year. To start with the Willens High School, where we're making uh, an addition to the girls' locker room facility. Uh, you can see the building structure is coming along nicely. Uh, what I'm happy to report to you is what we uh, always try to strive when we add on to a building in, in a manner such as this, is uh, it's matching the existing building very well. 
Uh, so everything has come together uh, as planned. The building is on schedule. Uh, and it, we, it is internally phased uh, because we're doing some additions to the locker rooms. Those additions will be finished. The athletics kids and students and the faculty have moved into the new section. And then we'll start working on the renovation of the existing uh, athletic facility for the girls at the Woodlands High School. Our new high school, uh, which we're reporting on the progress of phase one, which is the clearing in the building pad, and what you can see from these pictures is the, uh, the site clearing was done as we reported uh, last month. And what, you're, what you can see is the building shape taking place in the ground. So the building pad itself is on schedule. Uh, the weather has treated us fairly well since, uh, since we started that work the first of the year. Uh, we're working with the utility companies to move the utilities that need to be uh, moved, the temporary <coughs> facilities going in. And with your approval of the guaranteed maximum price uh, tonight, we are staged to complete the contract documents and move forward with phase two and keep this project rolling right along on schedule for a uh, 2018 open. That's a great picture. You can see the growth. You question the growth. Mm -hmm. You can see all the homes up there that are coming out. Great picture. Moving on to our 2016 campus life cycle project. Uh, this project is covers a, a lot of ground, two major scopes of work are at Canyon Creek High School, which I don't have any pictures to report to you yet. Uh, they're, they're doing pump replacements, boiler replacements, and roofing, uh, a re-roof job there. The work they're doing on the exterior of the roof, you can't see from the ground yet, so there's no, it's not worth putting a picture up. But as, as that roof completes, we will be uh, changing the look of that of that campus uh, with a fresh new, you know, essentially a fresh new coat of paint, but it's actually a new roof system uh, for that building. Uh, at Runyon is the other major portion of the work where we're doing a major mechanical overhaul of that building. We did spend spring break uh, working on the uh, the foundations for the new mechanical room space that we have to add to get the uh, new and updated equipment into that building. What you're seeing are pictures we took uh, early in the break. Since this picture was taken, the concrete slabs and foundations and housekeeping pads, things that we need to set the equipment on, have been completed. It was cleaned up on time, and we returned to school on Monday with no interruption to instruction. And that is our update. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Thank Foster, you. for your hard work. <coughs> Item 5A, financial reports. Dr. Stock. Mr. Rice, will you come present those, please? <coughs> Okay, good evening, President Husbands, members of the board, and Dr. Stockton. I'm here this evening to present the financial statements for the district for the month of February. These statements will include our general fund, debt service, child nutrition, and self-funded insurance. The first statement we'll look at this evening is our balance sheet. The balance sheet includes our assets, our liabilities, and our fund balances for the district. As always, we like to look at our cash and investments. We can see that we have cash on hand in the general fund of $500. We have bank deposits of 710,000. We have investments in our pools of $246 million. We have investments uh, out there that are less than a year, $53.9 million. And we have our longer term investments with TCG Investment Advisors of $44.5 million. This time of year, we always like to track our, our tax collection progress. As you can see, we're slightly behind where we were at this point last year, but, but we feel in the next few months we'll be catching up on those. The next statement we'll look at is our income statement. The income statement includes our revenues and expenditures. Our revenues are broken down into three categories, that is local and intermediate sources, state program revenues, and federal program revenues. Looking at the detail of our local and intermediate sources, we can see that in the general fund and debt service, our largest revenue generator is property taxes. In food service, that comes from our food sales. And in self-funded insurance, that comes from premium contributions. And we can look at our year-to-date expenditures by major category. In the general fund, our largest expenditure is in the payroll category. And as you can see, in debt service, we did make a debt payment on February 15th. Now looking at our projected uh, fund balance change uh, for the year, we're projecting a slight increase in our fund balance of $75,754. And if we look at the detail of that, 
on this slide here, we can see if we look down at other financing sources and uses, that number of 49,245,000 includes the 16 million that were projected to transfer into debt service, and then also the funds that we're transferring from the general fund to the capital projects fund to support our bond referendum. So we're, I'm sorry if I can ask a question. Uh -huh. You can go back, back one slide. slide. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> of the, let me try this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> of the 49 million, um, 16 is going to debt service, and the other is taking out of the general fund that's being used to support the bond. Yes, sir. Construction. Yes, sir. All right. Thanks. So and so. That that's the that's thirty three million bucks. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now our uh, fund balance change in debt service. We're looking at an increase of five point three five nine million, and a, a projected increase in our child nutrition of about five hundred sixty seven thousand dollars. Now looking at our self-funded insurance, uh, year to date we've had total revenues of $20,159,000. We've had total expenses of $19,649,000 for revenues over expenses of $509,000. So progressing still well, but I must remain cautious. Some of yeah. are still coming up. Um, participation at our wellness centers uh, for the year, Oak Ridge has had 3,133 visitors. Our Conroe Center has 868 visitors for a total of 4,001. Our investments for the month. We ended February with investments total $521 million. The wham of our pools for us is one day. They're actually at 53 days and in, in, in for their purposes, but for us it's one day. And they're yielding almost 45 basis points. The wham of uh, our safekeeping at US Bank, those are our investments that are out there that are less than a year that we're managing, and that's 138 days, and they're yielding 55 basis points. Our, long, our longer term investments are with TCG Investment Advisors, as y'all remember that's the $50 million that, that they're managing for us. Uh, they're at 628 days and they're yielding 95 basis points. The wham of our combined portfolio is 63 days and we're yielding a little over 50 basis points. And our benchmark, the 90 day T-bill is at 32 basis points. And thank you, any questions? Thanks. Item 6A, closed session of the board will now be held on matters containing the notice of this meeting as authorized by Section 551.074 of the Texas Open Meetings Act. Should the board determine that any final action, final decision, or final vote be required with regard to any matter considered in closed or executive meeting or session, then such final action, final decision, or final vote shall be yet either a the public meeting upon the reconvening of this public meeting or b at a subsequent public <coughs> meeting of the board upon notice thereof as the board shall determine closed session of the board will now be held it is 627 board is now in open session it's uh, 639 uh, next item on the agenda is 8A, proposed termination for good cause. Dr. Stockton. I'll turn it back over to the board. Okay. I move that the board propose the termination of the term contract of Kirk Smith for good cause and further move that the board authorize the superintendent to provide Mr. Smith notice of this action. I second the motion. <clears throat> we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Questions? Yes. All those in favor signify by raising your right hand. All opposed, like sign. Item 8B, consider revisions to local board policy FFA. Dr. Stockton. Mrs. Gladys, please. Thank you, Dr. Stockton. Mr. Husbands, members of the board, we're recommending, um, because of changes to federal law, uh, updates to local board policy FFA about wellness. Um, the, the current policy we have covers the same components that the ones we recommend, the policy we're recommending does uh, for the, the changes that we're recommending and required by law elaborate more. They give more goals that the district is supposed to develop and include in the wellness plan that we have been, that we're required to develop and more guidance on the components of that plan. And so it's not really a departure from what your current policy is, it just gives 
more guidance on what is expected. So once a local policy is adopted, which we hope will be in April, the one that we're presenting you tonight, the SHAC will get together and work on developing the wellness plan that will be brought forward to you as information, but it will be something that can be revised. It will be an administrative document. It will be the district's plan for keeping its students um, well. So we're Thank just presenting that for information tonight. If you have any questions, feel free to call me or Dr. Null, who's working on it. Thank you, Ms. Gladys. Thank you. Okay. With that, I would entertain a motion for adjournment. So moved. Moved. And we thank are you. adjourned. Uh, all right. Thank you. All right.